So it started off about 15 years ago or over 15 years ago in the States and around about 15 years ago it came to the UK uh, where it's organised by the IMECI, the Institution of Mechanical Engineers. And um, the students each year have to build, design a new car. Um, so they use their engineering skills, they use their physics skills, they use their knowledge of materials science, their knowledge of, of engines, their knowledge of, of generally how things work and they um, use all the things they, they learn in the engineering course and put those into practice into designing a racing car. Um, they work on it all year. Um, at around this time of year they're, they're frantically finishing off the car building and testing. But the most exciting part of it is that next week these students are racing at Silverstone against 120 other teams, university teams from all over the world and that's a fantastic experience for them. My name's Derry Griffiths. I'm a final year mechanical engineering student here at Cardiff University School of Engineering. Um, today, uh, uh, myself and the Formula Student team are heading up to Silverstone to compete at the Institute of Mechanical Engineers Formula Student event. Um, there's my, myself and up to there's about 35 students in total, uh, ranging from first, first year to postgraduates, and we'll be representing Cardiff University at Silverstone on a global scale this weekend. I'm Ryan from uh, Cardiff Racing. This morning's gone really, really well so far. We hot-tailed over to Acceleration, where we set one of our fastest ever acceleration times, so we got a buzz about the car. And uh, after that, we got back to a second skip pad run, where we just set a time of 5.3 seconds. Really, really solid effort by the team. We're gonna go back, go back to the uh, pit, get the car prepared for this afternoon's event, and run in sprint. We've got some results back already um, for business presentation. We've got fifth, sixth, um, which isn't ideal. You know, we've dropped a few points, but it's you know it's just something that we have to deal with. We've got some feedback, and hopefully, we'll be better next year. Um, luckily, on the static events, some good news. We've managed to get second in the, the cost report, which was brilliant. And our guys are currently prepping um, to go into now the run, top ten, top five teams that actually have to do another rundown. Um, so they basically some other parts they haven't yet covered. They have to do again and hopefully get some more points through that. Um, then going on to the dynamic events, so this morning we had the skid pad and we had the acceleration. We got 22nd in the skid pad, which is a very good result for us, and then actually 16th overall in acceleration, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and then what we've just had is the um, sprint event, where we've um, managed to get some very, very good laps in. Um, unfortunately, one of our drivers spun off in one of his laps and a couple of other knocks and cones, so it dropped us down a bit, but we are doing a lot better and hopefully could be in good position for the endurance tomorrow. If we finish the endurance tomorrow, uh, it could be one of our best results that we've had in many years, so uh, it's looking good. It's just the, the endurance is uh, 400 points out of 1,000, so if, it, if you do well, it's brilliant. If you don't do well, it can really knock you down. Well, we were the top placed Welsh University. Uh, we were third placed UK University. We came eighth overall as out of uh, all of the teams that competed from uh, 38 different countries from around the world. Um, we were actually the sixth highest placed combustion car and the fastest car without an aerodynamics package. So uh, we actually love the moon with the result and it's something we can really work with and uh, push on to do even better next year.